I'm ready. Cool. Thank you for fixing the audio. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. A little bit of a chunky, a little bit not too bad. So the first thing you're gonna, <laughs> first thing you're gonna watch me do here is retry. Hmm. Just like that. That just skips the little like opening, spin in cutscene animation thingy. And as soon as I beat the level, I will stage select, and that skips the post gold replay. You're also gonna see me moving diagonally a lot. That's called boosting. This game pulls inputs in a square, so diagonals are further away from the center than the cardinal inputs, and therefore. They are a little bit higher strength, so I accelerate faster when using them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do my first pause right here on Bumpy. I'm going to hold up right until 59, 18, then hold up left, and I will be getting on top of this wall, and then hopping off right here, hopefully getting the sponge. Yes, I got it. Oh, I'm happy to see the strat's still in use, actually. Yes. That was a bit of an obscure bet one back when I ran this uh, category. Yeah, cool. I actually watched her. I watched her run and picked it up from that, even. <laughs> ah, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> yep, and, Direct uh, acquisition actually... of strat. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really happy to, to get both bunches there, because you don't always. I've actually only accounted for one in my wrap, so now I get to skip one later. Um, anyway, Peter, if you would like to explain... Oh, of course, of course, of course. You're going to be seeing uh, more of that in the future as well, so it'll be nice to know what's going on with context. But basically, this game is deterministic, and it's got a funky, super accurate decimal timer at the top there. So by pausing the game, inserting any inputs on our cool eight-directional octagonal gate, we can essentially task the game in real time by inputting the same thing at exactly the same frame. When you do that, same result will happen, so as long as you can simplify some kind of crazy strat that saves more time than you lose pausing into just a couple inputs, well, you can pause it. And it's a huge part of the game's meta these days, as long as you're in a paused category. Especially in a category like this, they kind of scattered these bananas willy-nilly all over the place in some really, really hard-to-reach places sometimes. So these pauses allow us to get a lot of them really quickly without having to, uh, you know, potentially miss out on any bananas or lose a lot of time. So, mm -hmm. super, super important for Monkey Ball in general, but especially this category. You will see a lot of them a bit later. Yeah, this category really cool sounds absolutely now, bananas. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. Like, unironically, it's, it's, it's absurd. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I am skipping levels now. Um, these are the last two levels in World 1 are the longest, so I'm skipping them. Uh, Peter, I'll let you explain that as well. Cool, the any percent glitch. Not the best uh, person out there for the technical explanation, so we're gonna hit with you're gonna get hit with the cool layman's explanation. But uh, basically, there is a glitchy menu that can be accessed whenever you exit the game that was not supposed to be in the game. It was actually patched out of uh, the Japanese and PAL versions of the game. But basically, when you're inside the exit game menu, you can actually pause again, and then you can do cool stuff like retry, stage select. And if you stage select when you've never actually been in a stage, it causes the game to freak out and then just think you've completed the next stage. You can only do this twice per world under normal conditions, or else the game will crash. So it's an interesting balance where you can't, you know, just skip everything and play none of the game, but you can typically skip the two longest stages in each world, which makes the run a lot faster. You can actually skip more than two, too, if you exit the game out all the way. It kind of resets the counter on how many you can exit the game before the game crashes, but that won't really come up too often, except in World yeah. 10, I do believe. Mm. That is very slow. I do not actually do it in this run. Ah. Yeah, uh, only under because... extreme circumstances should you uh, exit game more than twice. In fact, technically, optimally, you can play World 10 strats fast enough to not need to exit game uh, stage select glitch. Uh, really? More I didn't than know twice. that. Yeah. Well, it hasn't been implemented yet, but technically you could do some two pretty uh, yolo -y strats to uh, go faster than doing the glitch oh, four times. Oh, is there a backup for this? And now I have to bring up the pause sheet. There is a backup for this. Okay. I'm we using are... a really precise pause strat here to collect five bunches after going in the goal. I should be fine. We are number yes, database in the goal, which is already being pressed. Spot its own, but it sets off, it sets up the ricochet <laughs> after the goal, where the monkey, while playing, you know, the exiting dance animation, actually rises up and collects five whole bunches, which is worth 50 bananas. All that happens after the stage is technically already completed. That is the power of a pause strat. Um, by the way, another thing about the any percent glitch, 
The second level I skip must be the last level I play in the world or else the game will crash. So you're going to see me doing some very specific menuing after certain levels to make sure that a level I want to skip is the last one that I would play. I didn't do the gravity slider boost, so oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm getting bananas here anyway. Mm -hmm. Ideally, I get 50 total bananas on this level by collecting five bunches. A bunch if of, anything, course, 10 you bananas. actually save time by not doing the proper boosting setup because uh, oh. that's actually too much speed. Because <laughs> remember, look at all this pullback you have to do here. Having more speed doesn't really benefit you at all. Okay. So okay. do I'm not fear. Skip inchworms. I'm gonna play totalitarianism and then I'm going to skip alternative, and that will be world two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, when runners first learn this category, it can often be a little ballerina dance of uh, doing the glitch without accidentally crashing the game and completely ending your run. Helix is experienced enough that this probably won't happen, but of course they will be being very careful, so we do not have uh, a bit of an incident midway through this run. Mm. I did I, I did crash it in practice today. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Won't happen again. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of extensive writing for this category and was able to get the world record pretty quickly. I noticed that the 999 bananas with skips record was slower than the skipless record. So I was like, well, I gotta go fix that. Mm -hmm. And I did. Um, the yeah, time can go okay. down quite a bit still, but I'm glad to at least have been able to fix that. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting category because uh, I mean, obviously it's a miscellaneous category, but from the outside, it's hard to understand exactly how these two, two things combine well. You'd think there'd be a bit of a sort of lack of synergy between the idea of using a glitch to go really fast but also going out of your way to go slow in order to get bananas but it turns out a lot of longer stages don't actually have bananas so it's a super super slick streamlined version of the 99 bananas category obviously you still get the same amount of bananas but you play a lot less filler stages in between pretty cool yep it's it essentially becomes how quickly can we obtain 999 bananas yep and then finish yes really cool boss right there on dribbles one of my favorite pod strats in the entire game. There's another one coming up on Mad Ring, the level after this URL. Unfortunately, this URL doesn't really lead to anything anymore. Um, amusement Vision was, I believe, absorbed by Sega quite a while ago, but it is amusementvision.com. Cool. So uh, this strat on Mad Rings is going to bounce off of a ring and then collect 70 bananas. Check this out. This is very cool, actually. 56, 28, oh, I got 26. I don't remember the backup for that. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, basically, no, uh, before before this strat was invented, there was a lot of like forward and then back and then speed management and then backtracking and then slowly kind of winging it and hoping you don't get nailed by the final ring. This is a much uh, slicker and easier way to get all of these bunches without too much trouble. Wow. Very nice. That's Look at how beautiful that strat cool. is. It's absurd. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Do you remember who found that strat, Peter? Uh, the Mad Ring strat? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be, uh, ah, Haruki, I think, yeah, I think that's a classic, Haruki, Haruki classic. Haruki is a that big, uh, pod strat hunter in the Monkey Ball speedrun community. Less so now, but Haruki is responsible for so many of the modern pod strats that make the game really fast. Yeah, Haruki might be one of the best frame hunters of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking one of, of my favorite pod strats. One of my favorite mm -hmm. anecdotes about Haruki was uh, you, you can kind of count on Haruki to bail you out when you're in trouble because one time I remember very visibly not crying but whining, being, you know, sad about how horrible a certain strat first stage was. I was dying to it repeatedly in runs. And the same day, Haruki came up with a frame strat that was faster and easier than what I was trying to do before. So, <laughs> what a pal. That was mm -hmm. a really cool strat. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Over yeah, I stole it from Taco. <laughs> Taco's oh world record um, 99 banana skipless run. Taco is a Japanese runner, uh, one of the very best at the game. T A K O. Hmm. Means octopus. Yeah. Um, there he are is, a few uh, strats. Living that legend, long time, one of the best uh, story mode specialists in this game. Big Absolutely. hero of mine. I think a lot of people look up to Taco in some way. <laughs> Absolutely a living legend, like you said. Uh, here's my arch nemesis, giant Kong. Okay, we're past. <laughs> um, I needed 242 bananas after World 3, and I am well ahead of that, actually, because of that extra bunch I got on Bumpy. I keep forgetting about that. I'm gonna collect two here. If you see me glancing to the side, that is because I'm glancing at my notes. Um, all the stages I have to skip and all the bananas I have to collect, this category gets complicated, so notes are very helpful to have. 
Of course, of course, of course. When the upside to, or when the, you know, oh. the cost of looking at notes is maybe a second or two to have a, have a refresher and the, you know, the, the downside to not looking at the notes might be a game crash. Very safe and sorry. Felix has got the, the marathon saved. Mm -hmm. So I will be skipping here after triangle holes and not have to play launchers, even though launchers green goal is a really cool strat. Mm -hmm. Get some bananas too. I was actually really surprised that Helix does not have uh, no. launchers in their route, but I found out that uh, it's a very tight route <laughs> that consists mainly of getting a, precisely the amount of bananas you need and then finishing. So, and I went uh, to play launchers definitely anyway. prioritizes making sure that the bananas <laughs> are collected during this rush. And I went to play launchers anyway. All right, hold on. I'm just gonna nail this, and you'll get to see how cool the strategy is. That's not going in. Close. Um, I'll probably skip coin slots instead, which would be after randomizer. Then after that, I menu down to play Arthropod, and then skip after that. What? That was so close. Hmm. So you, you can see that if, if, you know, I mess something up, I don't skip the correct stage, or if I miss some bunches, I have to start grabbing on the fly. And you can see how I just planned it out in my my head there. Please go in the goal. I'm sick of this level. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this close, is a... close, close. Planning to skip Launch this means stuff. I hadn't really practiced it. Mm-hmm. This yeah, there's always too. a backup route. You can always uh, ask me if you need the information on what I think is the best next next best bet. True. I am pretty sure. I mean, considering how much you get from randomizer and stuff, that you're looking to uh, skip arthropod at this point. But yeah. Oh, that's, the last two that's probably faster than skipping coin slots, isn't it? You're right. Yeah, I, I, coin slots is very fast. Yeah. Well, if you're planning on doing a uh, complex coin anyway. I am. Cool. Good luck. Although Arthropod is also a really cool strat, but lots of cool stuff in World Bar. I can't show it all off. And skipping the last two is really easy. Yeah. All right, insta paused 55. This should be good for the complex coin setup, which you're going to see uh -huh. right here. Beautiful. Ah, elegant. It's crazy how wide that tape hitbox can really heal once you get that strat right down, right? It looks like mm -hmm. it's like a pretty particular timing. It's a, well, amazing how some of these strats line up, considering I don't even know if they thought that you should be getting that goal out of the air by clipping up there. You only have to wait yeah. a second to check it out, too. All right. Honestly, Man, the reason I... Fast. I We're already more five. Yeah, the reason I missed launch, or forgot to skip launchers was because I had a really weird finish in triangle holes. <laughs> and so it took my attention away from, I have to skip next to, uh, I have to save this triangle holes. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the backup for 28 or more. I only remember the two frame. I, like, totally should have gone and learned a backup, and I just... <laughs> Oh, that's totally so didn't. that's so typical though. The the getting distracted by a really hilarious finish <laughs> and then not remembering Lobanip it for a stage skip or something. Ah, little yeah. Sick there, nice, nice. <laughs> All right, I am going to go for a rather difficult bunch here on freefall. Gotta snag this one out of the air. Got it. Oh. <laughs> oh, got the bunch though. That's half the journey. Uh, I landed in between the goal tape and the platform. Oh, Which that comes down off the party wall. I can save this. I can save winnable. this. I can save this. I can still save this. We save this. <laughs> Alright. Hey, you know what they say. <laughs> Third tries to charm, right? That was so uh, slow. I, I don't even That was like three bounces, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> melting bot. Oh, I love this strat, melting bot. I never would have thought they could get a free bunch on this one, too. Really elegant. That's so too. cool. 24 Thank is you. not even slower, really. Yeah, I'm like kind of out of that strat, too, so. Well done, well done. Um, I wouldn't normally point this out, but I see Nambo coming in with a raid, and this is significant because Nambo and Goobs are up next to racing Super Monkey Ball Gaiden, which is probably the most impressive Monkey Ball ROM hack, so make sure you stay tuned after this round for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you ever wondered what a real Monkey Ball 3 might look like, it's probably a little bit like what Gaiden looks like, if they did a really mm -hmm. good job with it, of course. Okay, so I am skipping after this level. And then I have to menu down left, and then skip after fluctuation. Mm -hmm. I should also make sure to check my bananas after this. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> oh, close one. Yeah. Okay, Those cycles sneak up too, so yeah, it might have seemed like it was a little bit weird to run away after that, but the last thing you want to do is get hit last minute by the, the trampoline. Yeah, I, <laughs> I could totally have gotten... I didn't do the menu incorrectly, what the heck? Okay, I guess we're playing tower. Oh no. What should I skip instead? Tower? Uh... Probably Fluctuation, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right, that's I mean, easy. Fluctuation isn't even the highest speed on average. Yeah. It can be as low as 50 sometimes. 
Although I did nail tower first try, which is not necessarily an easy thing to do, so. <laughs> that I didn't lose a whole lot of time to that, actually. Alright, we're out of world 5. I should be at 353 bananas after world 5. Holy load. See, we normally do a load minute by playing a really long stage last, so the cutscene has time to load, but of course we're skipping it. And so that cutscene just doesn't have that time to load, and so it takes forever. It's still faster, but, you know. Anyway, yes, I'm at 368 bananas, so I am well over my 353 benchmark out of World 5. We are theoretically halfway through the run, but some of these later worlds take a little bit longer. Looks like you're also, like, getting a lot more bananas I'm on the back lap, huh? Yes, we are. World 10 in particular has very many. Yeah, it's kind of funny that you end up into the halfway point, you know, technically level count-wise at this point in the run, and you have only, like, a third of the bananas you might need. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Pull back. That upper strat's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, uh... I don't... Is that even a backup? I don't think... Because oh. I, I did that set to get a banana, or a banana bunch. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Whoops. <laughs> Where am I? There we go. I was so instinctive, you know, ready for what I expect to see when I run, you know, regular vanilla all levels. <laughs> I saw you coming from way below, and I said, no way, that's how I was supposed to go. No, as Hard expected, no as expected, way. all according to plan for me, Elixir. Oh, no, I got 20. <laughs> there are lots of backups for these pause strats. Pause strats, excuse me. I don't know all of them. But if you're thinking, oh, this looks really intimidating, you have to hit these frame-perfect pauses, there are lots of backups. Hmm. And I have lots of experience pausing. I've been seriously running Monkey Ball for over two years at this point. Here's a massive banana stage right here. We just basically fixed half of the stress we were talking about about being so low on bananas. Yeah, yeah. Yes. one stage can change. Yeah, everything. the bananas went so higher. That's more like it. Four sixty-eight. <gasps> Get a single. I missed fifty-five cliffs. Funny number time. I will actually... Okay, well, if I, if I missed it again, I was actually going to get a single for you, but I hit it, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I can wait. Patience yeah. yields the greatest rewards, as they say. We're going to be collecting even more bananas single, here. There's a single, there's a single, there's a single, there's... Oh, wait, I forgot there's tons of bananas. <laughs> yeah. I'll allow it. Okay. Whoa, that was like a full extended thing. You came out of that. Yeah. I, I've seen the first half where you get to that spot, but then Fred set it up freehand, but you just never lost that speed and grabbed all the bunches along the way. That was nuts. Mm -hmm. That's another boss trap that I've seen Taka do that I sort of stole and modified a little bit. What? <laughs> I accidentally unpaused completely. The no, the no will rebuff her. Happens. Yeah. Okay, I need to do a little up click. There we go. I'm pretty sure I got both. And now we're skipping twice again. Cool. So I should be 524 bananas out of world 6. If I saw correctly, I'm at like 539, so I am doing pretty well. I do have the bananas on Domino routed in, so I'm probably going to skip those. Domino bananas. Yeah, that's not too much if you're ahead anyway. That's yeah, like, what, the, eight singles? It's, yeah, eight to ten, and they take two to three seconds to grab, so... Also, this oh, is one of the hardest... It's a lot, it's a lot of yeah, not fast you, can, hmm. you can do it pretty fast. Cool. Um, this is one of the hardest movement strats in the game to get this cycle. Ah, that was a little bit sketch, but I nailed it. Nice. Gonna go on the thinnest rail here on wavy option. Can I set this up quickly? Oh, I sure can. That was speedy. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Cheeky little pause frame here on obstacle. Um, I haven't ever like called for donations. Oh yeah, actually, we so if there have are a couple donations. of donations right now. Um, CMM. The uh, person who was just toasting last uh, gave ten dollars, saying for Anne. Oh. Ness gave fifteen, <laughs> saying, "Hell, hail the plant god, Lila R." Goobs with five dollars says, "Let's go Helix." Peas yeah. with one dollar says, "E." Thank you, Goobs. E. 
that's all our donations for now, but they, oh, they were just no, rolling hoping... in for a few minutes there. Oh, absolutely, gotta yeah. Gotta, 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 gotta get some more in. Oh no, where am I? <laughs> oh my god, okay, I'm aiming for 59.61 here on Flock. I keep... <laughs> 60 has a backup you can do. 63 doesn't work. 58 doesn't work. I keep presuming I'm going to hit 61, and then I'm pausing, like, really quickly. <laughs> and, like, three times in a row there, I just didn't get it, and then I missed the adjust. This shouldn't be hard, no! <laughs> and yeah, it's I also, it's just of... noticed... You go, you go. Oh, yeah. It's a sign of uh, having a lot of experience pausing, where you reach the point where you have enough confidence in, you know, your different buffer windows that you're able to, uh, most times, know when you're going to do a two frame or a one frame anyway, which are usually pretty consistent. So, basically, player, really, really, really good someone. players will end up making a mistake that, you know, less experienced players could even consider doing, which is not rebuffering when they hadn't reached the frame yet. Like, it's easy to miss a frame by being too late, but being too early and then not rebuffering is kind of a... I think that happens when you get really fast. Yeah, and then I jump off to really high hierarchy. Oh, I'm falling apart. <laughs> help. Anyway, I... I help us present. You have my energy. Thank you, Wait. Peter. I noticed also, that's just posted in chat, that the challenge mode any percent incentive has been met. Thank you all so much for donating for that. Um, you are seeing what story mode any percent looks like, and soon you will see what challenge mode any percent looks like after this run. It is significantly more busted. Oh boy, I look forward to seeing and that one, Lenny. <laughs> get this post goal bunch here. You should, you should. It is actually um, fascinating how, how vastly different. There are two different any percent glitches in this game for story mode and for challenge mode. They do about the same thing in theory, but one does it on a way more extreme scale. So I'll get yeah. right for that. <laughs> it's absolutely wild. I'm going to be skipping double spiral here. Quick turn was, in fact, a hold up level. I literally drink water during that level. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Almost yeah, every run. Heck yeah. That World 7 Thanks was a bit of a Thanks for the reminder to stay hydrated, That's by the way. <laughs> I, <expected> yeah. <laughs> I have been forgetting that. <laughs> yeah, if you've been hosting, you Me know, too. you're running your mouth, doing lots of commenting, talking, you may are an extra oh. dire need for hydration. Keep mm -hmm. on. And chat, if you've been enjoying this marathon for a long time, sending your You're desk, literally you the, the first run of this hosting oh, vlog for me. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've done a couple of runs of hosting before this. Fair enough. Yeah, moves fair like enough, these, yeah. these they're, they're hot and happening. They're going to dry up your go. mouth. Mm -hmm. Nice pistons. Thank you, thank you. That was a tough moving strat. <laughs> and I guess it's bananas. Fuck you. Oh, where am I going? Okay. <laughs> Funny little trivia fact is there are pistons frames which come a little bit close to that strat in speed. And they're a little bit easier and consistent, but they wouldn't get any bananas. So, honestly, yeah. even worse in this category, do they? Not a good idea. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're running zero bananas, which is the uh, yang to this category's yin, uh, you definitely do want to use those frames. It is possible yes. to beat this entire run of story mode without getting any bananas. It's pretty consistent. Yeah. It's exact opposite. not even particularly difficult, in my opinion. There's like, oh, Kirby options can be weird. Yeah, Kirby options is a very, very hard strat. Cur do Kirby options puzzles. and Save are like the, the big offenders. Save was why it was thought to be impossible for a very long time. There, there are bananas that are totally in your way. You have to mm -hmm. scuff together some sick airborne collision in order to uh, go over them. I mean, when, you know, when in doubt, if there's something in your way, just, just fly, right? Just go over it. Yeah. I'm trying to retry it super quickly, and sometimes I retry a little bit too quickly, <laughs> and it just doesn't register. So IQ is always there. like the moment. Uh, I don't even know what I was about to say. I, I, I that's cra I've, that is the first time I've ever tried to verbalize the exact moment that I try to retry at the beginning of every stage, and I just realized I have actually no English way to communicate that idea. <laughs> I really wanted to try and <laughs> well, help. It's you. not. It, it's not about like <laughs> the moment I'm trying to retry, but it's about I'm like pressing the buttons at the same time instead of like one frame apart. Oh, okay. I'm supposed well, to play trampolines, what am I doing? <laughs> so, so, we, we, I digress from your point anyway, but still, just gotta say, I totally just fell apart. <laughs> Had a bit of a breakdown there when I realized I've never tried to verbally describe my retry cue. And I just tried to do it. Everyone was waiting to hear it, but there was nothing. I still can't do it. No matter how hard I think, there's no way for me to tell you how I think of it. I just think of it. I tried to do it when the... Uh... Like the the first letter here, yeah. When the W, right when that stops moving, that's when I try oh, to neat. retry. You actually have a visual cue. Dang it! 
Anyway, and we are now skipping linear seesaws. Not linear seesaws, we just played linear seesaws. We are skipping swing shaft, excuse me. And yeah. going into World 9, there are some really cool pause strats here in World 9, so make sure you're paying attention. Mm -hmm. Peter, I warned you specifically about chip pipes, because of uh, this guy. I have yeah, I've really heard this really one that I haven't seen before. I'm, uh, mm -hmm. you know, an older, you know, uh, old, old school, you know, older monkey, wise old ape uh, when it comes to this category. It's been a while since I've looked at it, so it'll be exciting to see how it's changed. I do recognize this, this six-year jump strat. Tactical, yep. purposeful goal post hit. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Bounce an off the goal there. Collect all 40 bananas. That's a lot. Um, I was at 638 going into this, which is definitely above my benchmark. So we are good on bananas. This is huge. Yeah, Make sure you get as many as you can here. They're pretty hard to avoid, though. This is actually the open bananas challenge. <laughs> yeah, true. Awesome they're hard, zero strength. bananas are super free in this category, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna pause right here on 55. Okay, 25 has like something. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I got the three bunches, that's what I really wanted. Ideally, I pause a frame earlier and I get to do that a, quite a bit faster actually, but as long as I get the bunches. Alright, so here's the chip pipe strat. I'm pausing at 55, 51, and just kind of doing this. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> that ricochet, I, I love how you just dropped your speed and could start walking right in the direction of bananas at the end there. That was way more effective. Mm -hmm. The old system would just be using the old the, uh, expert style frame strat that would get you the green goal, but you have to try and purposely goal post in a way where you can get the bananas quickly. That was way more elegantly set up. Oh, shoot. Yeah, and I think my strat saved like one or two seconds as well. Mm -hmm. What a cool way to get a clip across trip pipes too. Going right first, okay. nuts. Oh, uh, I am skipping this level. <laughs> it's so okay. hard to talk and do this category because there is so much stuff you have to keep track of, and I'm learning that the hard way. Don't worry, I got you. Thank you. Well, I haven't reminded you of any skips so far, so good job of doing that on your own. But I have been talking sometimes. <laughs> That's good. Hey, I, I had to explain some stuff that, with all the stuff going through my head right now, I just would not have been able to explain. Hey, Orbiters is a really cool strat, by the way. Got a back check mm -hmm. on this one. This stage is like a super easy stage in regular play. One of the best changes this category offers. Yeah, that Orbiter strat is actually like really hard to get that timing down. So the fact that I did it first try and so try. clean, I'm really happy about. <laughs> Probably. Take Twin Basin a little bit safe there. Didn't like the scoops I was getting. Mm -hmm. All right, what's our banana count here? 788. I am like exactly on pace for 999. On the mark. This is perfect. No banana left behind. Mm hmm. My, the total bananas in my route add up to 1002. So I am three behind my benchmark, which means I'm exactly on pace for 999. Exactly. That's hilarious. Wow, that's actually scary. I didn't even know. Like, even yeah, 1002 that's... seems close to me. <laughs> Like once you start cut, once it starts coming down to singles, I, I would get scared. I I can't count singles. Oh no, I missed that bunch. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is important. You heard you heard what Helix said. All right, we got it. <laughs> Whoa, was that a full 180 degree turn? Wow, oh, I'm really good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> you can do front and forwards, backwards, whatever. Well, so the trick to that was oh hold on. <laughs> well, let me let me do this pause track first. Yeah, it's our track. Um, yeah. Normally I would be skipping the stage at ninety percent because it's so long, but it actually has seventy bananas on it, so I Seven. essentially have to play it. Yeah, it's all for free too. Uh, all you gotta do is a strat and then get them at the end. It's cool. Mm -hmm. It is one of the more involved pause strats in this game, though. Yes. It looks is looking for a super fast ending too, known as yes. complex gimmick, which so lets you go off the ramp. Oh my god, I got 68. <laughs> Please, I just want to show off complex gimmick. Yeah. All in or nothing. 78, 78, 75, and 70. Here we go. Woo! Boink. Beautiful. Nice. Alright. Up there. So I gotta run all the way to the other gimmick and get all 70 of these bananas. Yay! Another stage oh, that single-handedly makes you feel a lot better about your banana. Seems like a bit of a gimmicky around. strat, though. <laughs> so, what I did there... 
<laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. That's the second bomb you've made. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, nice. Um, Improv bunch clip grab. Cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. So, yeah, what I did there on training, actually, was I just was able to line it up perfectly. And because I knew I was lined up perfectly, I could just go <laughs> neutral and let myself roll That's back down pretty, the FNY. Pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. One. Yeah, that disorder was <laughs> really scary. I'm gonna bounce off the goalpost here on 3D, 3D maze to slow myself down, grab both of these bunches. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I skipped this level. <laughs> a neat thing, too, when it comes to uh, purposely goalposting to get some, you know, bunches that are hanging out near the end of the stage is that uh, the goalpost is actually very, like, sort of edgy. It's got funky vertices and edges on it. You, you gotta be kind of careful. And doing that purposely is a bit of a skill to learn. It's a little bit harder yeah, to learn. Yeah, you gotta make sure you wall. hit... You gotta make sure you hit the front of the goalpost. If you hit anything else, you're done. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really important that I get a specific pause right here on Invisible. There are normally lots of sets that can get you to the goal pretty fast, but I need to hit a really specific one because it'll get me two bunches. Oh. 23... Oh, it's 95. No. This is new to me, too, actually. Back in my day, we would just uh, route in, get enough bunches that hopefully we wouldn't have to get any bunches on Invisible. Yeah, but the strat is actually really fast. It only does one extra pause from the main set and still gets you in the goal to 47 IGT. Wow. I'm watching. This last frame is a range. Wow. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right. We are coming up on time very soon here. It is not when I enter the gold tape on this level, but this is the last level I will play. Um, it's when I skip the last stage this time. Yes, so Helix will do one final stage select and the screen will uh, go black or white, oh, and yes. that will be when the time starts. I was about to say, And as you can see, I have a very nice, nice 969 banana bananas number. here, so yeah. I do need, yep. <laughs> I, that, that means Set I need all three of these bunches. bunches. Come whoa, on. whoa. The bunches have magnetic properties. You looked on the platform there. I think I'm doing the thing again that you told me not to do where I'm down writing to really. Hmm. You've got this, you've got this. The feedback. Oh. <laughs> You're ready. <right. laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> no, that one might have been too late actually. Yeah. It's no, down right going to well in practice. Why are you doing this? It's going so well in practice. This is sad. Just raising the, the hype, the suspense for the triple banana oh bunch score God. into goal finish. Ma, wow, your, your notes really are on point, though, I gotta say. Yes! Oh, no, no, no. Jeez, okay. You need these bunches to exactly get 9 and 9. And. Here it comes. Stage select. Stay in time. That was 999 bananas, any percent. Let's give him some levels. Still underestimate, a little bit of slop here and there, but hopefully it was still impressive regardless. Um, and I, I do realize that I am not done yet, so I'm gonna softer set here and head over to challenge mode so we can show off this challenge any percent glitch. Mm -hmm. GG's. Thank that was you. an impressive run. I saw so many, the hyper modern is like meta when it comes to 99 bananas really, really blew me away. Having me on as someone who hasn't played for years is pretty cool. Nah, I'm probably not actually going to finish this 70% run. <laughs> I'm just going to do like the first... The first stage. And then y'all will get the idea. Oh, we got a lot of time um, to explain what's about to happen too as we get into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, ho I hope y'all like waiting because we're going to be sitting here a while. I'm actually going to bring up the pause sheet so I make sure I know what these frames are. <laughs> But yeah, like I was talking about earlier, this is the challenge mode any percent glitch. Or, well, no, I was only talking about the story mode any percent glitch earlier, huh? Mm -hmm. Huh. This is not the same thing. Maybe you, maybe Helix is the one who's talking about this. I don't know. I kind of jumped in, but then I realized it's not the same thing. What am I talking about? I mentioned that it was Matt. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you all for donating for this, by the way. Wow. Um, lead is a great cause. I've actually worked with them before for CozyCon. Anyway, I need to enter the goal after time expires, so this may seem impossible, but uh, there are two ways to do this. The party ball can push you in, or stages keep moving for one frame after time expires, and you can enter the goal tape in that frame if it moves into you. 
Um, because the stage moves so fast, the goal on it moves so fast, this is probably... Well, outside of Puzzle, this is the easiest level to do this in. Um, I'm doing this instead of Puzzle, because Puzzle is an expert extra, and it would take me a while to get over there. So I'm doing a really p precise pause strat setup. Luckily, there are lots of backups for this. Right. You can see time over, but I'm still in the goal, and all of a sudden, oh, I'm on the final stage of Master. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? <laughs> yeah, wait on one stage from it, now you're done. What is going on? And then I beat Centrifugal again, and that's it. I'm done with Master. That is the any percent glitch. This works in all challenge mode categories, skips you to the very end. What we think happens here is that... Um, the game, I hate to say the game gets confused, but that does kind of feel like what happens. Uh, and it increments the stage number by one every frame until it reloads again. But it also, it's also like, wait a minute, you didn't actually beat the stage. And so it still makes you play it again, but it still thinks it's the last level. So the first level is the last level, and you, you beat it again, and then it's like, oh wait, you beat the final stage, you're done with the section of whatever category you're playing. Um, I am actually going to try to hit Striker and complete this run. If I don't hit it, I'll probably just move on because I know we're behind schedule. I know we didn't even need to get going, so. But there is no setup. Minimum yeah. stage count completion, low percent. There is no setup for this on variable width, so I have to play it and get over to Striker, which is fine. We're, we're chilling again. It really? It's like a strike a little bit, you know, it's got quite a boing to it. Yeah. <laughs> Roy, all right. There it goes. We'll catch the next uh, next train, I guess. Here we go. Fifty-five. Five. Fifty-five. Pausing really carefully here. Seventy-eight. Two point nine six. I completely whiffed. Yeah, I just went way past that. Okay, you get the idea. <laughs> right. Nice. That frame snuck up on me. I wasn't ready for it. Um, but yeah, so with practice, you know, you can learn these frame sets. There are some for really every category in this game, you know, beginner, advanced, expert, master. And so you can learn these setups and you can <laughs> perform this glitch and, you know, be expert in like a few minutes. It's an absolutely wild glitch. Anyway, um, I need to get out of here so we can move on to the next run, which, by the way, will be in absolute masterclass uh, super monkey ball guide and one of the most impressive rom hacks of monkey ball out there run by nambo and goobs it'll be a great race and after that is super monkey ball one arcade stick by 45 which i will be on the mic for again and of course you will see me tomorrow night playing a rolled out another marble roller but if you all enjoyed my gameplay you can find me on twitch and twitter at helix 13 underscore you can find uh, peter on twitch and twitter at petras inc um it's me, Twitch.tv. Yeah, shout out to the Monkey Ball community. If anybody out there wants to learn this game, you know, find me, find Peter. We would be more than happy to help you get into it. Um, heck, any Monkey Ball game, really. If we can't help you, we can certainly direct you to someone who can. Huh. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for coming out. Thanks for the GGs. And That's let's keep really this cool. Monkey Ball block rolling. GG. Ha! Ah! Oh my! <laughs> it's a fun! Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get the heck out of this room. Thanks for commentating, Peter, and thanks for having me. All right, me. well, I, I will do the exact same.